Hi, it's Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today I'm going to share with you my top five two-row repeat stitches for baby blankets. These stitches, these blankets are amazing. Of course, you can make them any size and they are super easy to remember. All of these patterns, I have come up with a way and even how we title it so that you'll know what you're doing row by row. You don't have to keep going back to the pattern or wondering what you're supposed to be doing. So they are all super simple tutorials in both right and left-handed as well as written patterns over on my website, secretyarnery.com. So we're gonna start at the top and just work through the five and I'm gonna tell you what's so great about each one of them and you can decide which one is best for the project that you wanna do. What is your favorite stitch for baby blankets or blankets of any size? Let me know in the comments under this video. Also let me know if there is a blanket stitch you want me to do a tutorial for. Starting with floors and windows baby blanket. This is great because it is worked up in a square. So you go around and around, and when you run out of yarn, your blanket is the size it's gonna be. So you don't have to worry about having enough yarn to get it to, into a rectangle or into a square if you are working in rows, because this works in rounds. So that is super great. Another thing super fabulous about it is treble crochet. So treble crochet is the tallest stitch or the tallest basic crochet stitch. Works really fast. And also one row you are skipping three stitches. So one row, treble crochet all the way around, one row, three trebles, skip three, three trebles, skip three all the way around. Plus it has this adorable border, a little daffodil border around it. So it is super geometric in the center and then super cute and flowery on the edge. Perfect for, you know, a nice throw for your sofa or a nursery. I know there's a lot of debate about holes in baby blankets. For me, baby blankets are just like small lapgans I keep around my house. I make them for myself. Just enough to like cover, I guess, lapgans. But it could also be a really nice decorative blanket for wherever you want it. Really goes quickly and really fun. I use Cakes Blues from Ice Yarns for this. So just the one pack. And this is how big I got it with one pack. So three balls of Cakes Blues. Now I should say, you're probably hearing a bunch of noise being like, what on earth is going on? There is construction right there. They're building a house. So it's gonna be noisy probably for another year. <laughs> so no point waiting for this. We're just going to see what we can do and get over it. I also could film upstairs in the yarnery. We are outside the yarnery right now, but it is burning hot in there, really hot. So, well not really hot, but too hot to be holding blankets, tell you that much. So we are outside, it's early morning around nine o'clock, nice breeze, a little bit of construction going on. So we are outside today. The next one is quite large. I don't even know how, how I got it so big. This is made with Puzzle Baby. This is Candy Cradle Baby Blanket. It is gorgeous. It's made with a size two yarn, but you'd never know it because I used a five millimeter crochet hook and this gorgeous Puzzle Baby yarn from Ice Yarns. It comes in amazing colors. And this is generally what it does in this pattern. Nice big stripes. So they look great on both ends of the blanket. Isn't that super? So the yarn does all of that work. You don't do anything other than your normal basic crochet stitches. It's a two row repeat. One, one row we make candies and the next row we make a cradle. So you make a cradle, pop a candy in it. Back and forth all the way along until it is the size you want it to be. Mine is quite big. And it also has this gorgeous stacking shell border. Now you could do as many stacking shell rows as you would like. I'm holding it the wrong way for you. <laughs> uh, you, could, you could do as many rows as you like to make your blanket as big as you want it to be. And it also adds that extra width to any blanket that maybe you want to have a little bit bigger or you didn't make it as wide as you wanted. You know, those starting chains can be a little bit tricky in the beginning. So this is Candy Cradle 
It looks super fabulous. I can't, I just can't believe I made it so big. <laughs> It was so fun to do. So that, you, I guess that's when you know that that is a winning pattern right there because it was so fun to do. It's nice and thin. It doesn't feel like a DK weight yarn. Oh, plus it looks good on both sides. Let me show you both sides. So that's one side, looks great. That's the other side, still looks great. Maybe we like that. See? So totally looks different on each side, but totally reversible depending on which side you like best. Next on our list is the Coronation Stitch Baby Blanket. This is an amazing pattern as well. It's a two row repeat. Well, they are all two row repeats, but this one you're making heads and then you're crowning them. So it's the Coronation. One row you make heads, the next row you pop a crown on each head. I kind of think of it as the queen going along and being like, you're knighted. You're knighted, you're knighted all the way along. Or I guess now it would be the king, wouldn't it? So this is the gorgeous, fabulous, and super easy to do coronation stitch baby blanket. It has a nice straight edge. That is just part of the pattern. You don't have to do anything particular, but you, your edges will be really straight if you follow the tutorial. And I think it just looks so smart. Like when you look at it, you're like, how is that? Like, how did you do that? Which row is that? Is that a one row repeat, a two row repeat? It's two rows, but so fun to do. So that is the coronation. And of course, that would be a great uh, blanket to make in stripes. It would stripe really well. And any color combination would also be fabulous. I made mine with Saver from Ice Yarns. Just regular old, well, it's not regular, premium Draylon acrylic, but it is so fabulous. Next we have cakes and candles. Now this blanket also works in the square and it is a nice lacy pattern. You can also make it whatever size you like. Just kind of starting out and then growing it, growing it, growing it. It is a two row repeat. So one row you make cakes and the next row you put a candle in it. <laughs> So it is cakes and candles. So another easy to remember two row repeat. Looks super fabulous and is really easy to do. Also doesn't use much yarn because there's all those spaces in there. Hmm? So it is really, really nice to do. You also has, it also has a built in border. You just stop on a cakes row and it looks fabulous. Just like that, so you don't have to worry about putting a border on it. It's gonna have a naturally scalloped finished edge when you are done. In the tutorial, I turn my work, but you do not have to turn your work because you don't have to. <laughs> it's just that nice lacy kind of design. So you can turn your work if you want to. You don't have to turn your work. Sometimes I turned my work, sometimes I did it, but it is really a nice pattern regardless. And now lucky number five, the piece de la resistance. Did I say it the right that time? <laughs> the amount of times I try to say that. Lord help me. Maybe Lord did help me. <laughs> now it looks like I haven't sewn in my last two tails. I've sewn in the ones in the center, but I do have these two tails, which there is no reason for. I've already done the tutorial. I've already written the pattern. So there's no reason to have these tails. I really have to sew them in. This is the Eggtastic blanket. Now I'd love this to be bigger. I do have a bigger one upstairs. It's huge. I made it with a, it was, I think it's called Bunny Love from Ice Yarns. It's a really fuzzy pastel and white textured yarn. So I did this with Karen Simply Soft Stripes. I want to say it is a New York Times is the colorway. How fun is this? So you're basically making an egg or you're starting an egg and then you're closing an egg, starting an egg, closing an egg all the way through and they just kind of alternate. So it is really fun to do and you can tell what you're gonna be doing for each row by how we start on the edge. So really great to do. We did this for Easter last year, but of course you could use any colors you want, even in a solid or even like a or more masculine colors would also be so fabulous. It has a really nice weight to it, I have to say. That Karen Simply Soft. Uh, I'm not crazy about working with it because of the split, but it's not that bad. And the drape or the hang 
the squishiness of the weighted blanket at the end I think is worth it. So these are my top five stitches for two row repeats. Super perfect for blankets any size and give them a try. I'll link all of these in the description box down below, the written pattern right-handed and left-handed. And if there's any other crochet projects you want me to share with you, let me know in the comments under this video. I'm waiting for you, where? This, <laughs> I'm waiting for you in this video right there and stay hooked.